Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and uh, this lesson is we're going to divide uh, three digits by one digit, and we're going to do this by uh, partial quotients, okay? So it's kind of confusing in the beginning, but uh, you'll see it. It'll unwind here in just a second, okay? So give me a, uh, just give me a, a minute or so, and it should start unwinding. Here's an example. For Tony's science class, he wants to make uh, bags of treats that have five treats in each bag. If he has a total of 125 treats, how many bags can he make? Okay, so so this is going to be a division problem, you guys. And so what we're going to do is divide uh, 5 into 125, okay? So uh, I pulled this out of your book, you guys. So with partial quotients, uh, the method, you look for multiples of the divisor. The divisor is the number that's uh, dividing into, and you subtract it from the dividend. Well, that's the number you're dividing into. Then, uh, then the partial quotients are added together. And I know you're thinking, what? What does that mean? Well, I'll, I'll unwind this for you in just a second, okay? So don't worry about that. I'll, I'll help you uh, see what this means, okay? So first, here we're going to divide uh, 125 divided by 5, okay? So the 125 is this purple dividend right here. That's what this is right here. And the divisor, this blue word divisor, is my blue number 5, okay? So we're going to write it like this right here, okay? And then we're going to divide, and then we start thinking, okay, how many, okay, remember, this number is um, uh, 125. The 1 is the in the hundreds position, the 2 is in the tens position, and the 5 is in the ones position. So 5 can't go into this 1 right here, so I'm not going to have any 100s here, so 5 is going to have to go into this 12, and 12 ends into the in the tens spot, so I'm going to do multiples of uh, 10 times 5, okay? So let me move it up here on the next page over here. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm going to go 10 times 5 and put it 50 right there, okay? Because you can do 10 times 5, and we're just going to keep doing multiples of 10 times 5. That's why they're called uh, partial quotients, you guys. We're just breaking it down uh, part by part, okay? So 10 times 5 equals 50, okay? So we're going to subtract multiples of 5, and since 10 times 5 is easy, let's use multiples of 10 times 5, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, subtract. So, so 5 minus 0 is, is 5, and then 12 minus 5 is 7. So this is going to be 75 right here when we subtract. Okay, so continue subtracting uh, multiples of 10 times 5 until we can't get another multiple of 10 times 5, okay? Until the number ends up being less than the multiple. So let's go ahead and do another 10 times 5 here, because that's 50, and I'm going to subtract that, okay? So subtract another 50 right there, okay? Now I can't subtract 50 anymore, so I'm going to do smaller multiples of 5, okay? So we're going to continue doing this, and I'm going to do um, uh, subtract smaller multiples of 5. I can do uh, 1 times 5, 2 times 5, but here I'm going to go ahead, since I know 5 times 5 is 25, I'm going to go ahead and do 5 times 5, because that's going to get me 25 right there, okay, and then so then I get a remainder of 0 right there, so I can stop, all right, so here's the directions that I had written before that I was asking, you know, that didn't make much sense, okay, so with partial quotients, we look for multiples of the divisor, which was uh, multiples of 10 times 5, and my 5 was my divisor, and we subtracted them. We kept subtracting, subtracting, subtracting. Then we add these partial quotients together. So I'm going to add these numbers together. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25, and then that's my answer. The answer is going to be 25. So let's answer it in the context of the problem. Remember, it's uh, Tony's science class. That means he's going to uh, be able to make 25 bags. Okay? So if you kind of got it, I'm happy, you guys. If you didn't understand it, I'm okay. But if you're kind of going, yeah, I sort of get it, I'm, I'm tickled, you guys. Because by the end of this video, I think, I think we'll have it all unwound. Let's try this, you guys. Divide 104 divided by 4 using the partial quotients method. Okay, so here we go. Okay, 4 can't go into this hundreds spot, so I'm going to go to this 10 spot. So I'm going to do multiples of... 10 times 4, okay? So 10 times 4 is 40. So I'm going to start subtracting multiples of 40, okay? So here's 10 times 4, and then there's 40. I'm going to subtract 104 minus 40. 4 minus 0 is 4. 10 minus 4 is 64, okay? So let's do it again. 10 times 4 equals 40, okay? Subtract, okay? Now I can't take another 24 there. And do you guys know how many times 
4 goes into 24. Okay, 4 goes into 24 6 times, so I'm just going to do 6 times 4, and then I get a remainder of 0, and then when I get that, I just add these numbers up. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus uh, 6 is 26, so the answer is 26. Okay, getting a little easier, huh? Is it starting to unwind? All right, let's try it again, you guys. All right, so a lacrosse is played on a field that uses uh, 300 and that is 330 uh, feet long. How many yards long is a lacrosse field? Okay, and recall a yard is uh, three feet, so every three feet there's a yard. So what I'm going to do is divide 330, 330 divided by three. Okay, so here it is, right there. All right, this time. 3 goes into this 3 right here, and this is in the 100 spot. So I'm going to multiply, not 10 this time, I'm going to multiply it by 100, okay? So when I multiply 100 times 3, because 3 goes into the 100 spot, so 300, so I'm going to subtract 300 right here, okay? Now, this is in the 10 spot, so now I'm going to start doing multiples of uh, uh, 10 times 3. So 10 times 3 is going to be uh, 30. And then there's my remainder of zero. So my answer is going to be 100 plus 10. I'm going to add those partial quotients together, and I get 110. So that's the answer. Is 100 a lacrosse field is 110 yards long. Always try to answer it in the context of a problem, especially if it's a word problem. So if we went back up here, how many yards long is a lacrosse field? It's 110 yards long. Okay. All right. All right, so review, you guys. So when we're, uh, we use multiples of this divisor right here, this is the divisor, so multiples of the divisor, and we did it uh, in multiples of 10 times uh, uh, my divisor here, so it was multiples of 40, okay? And then what we do is we subtract them from the dividend. The dividend is this number right here, and we keep doing that until we can't do it anymore, okay? And then we just go ahead and add these up, and so that would be... Uh, the final answer. When you can't subtract, you add up these partial quotients right here, and that will be your answer. All right, let's try one more of these, you guys, okay? This time it's 4 divided, divides into 924. Okay, now this is in the hundreds spot, so 4 can go into the hundreds, so I'm going to multiply 100 times 4 and start taking multiples of 400 off. Okay, so when I subtract, I get 524. Okay, now 4 can go into 500 again, so I'm going to multiply it again times uh, 100 times 4 and take another 400 off. Okay, when I subtract, I get 124. All right, now 4 doesn't go into this anymore, so now I'm going to start with 10s. So I'm going to go uh, 10 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40. Okay, and then so I subtract and I get 84. I can do another 10 times 4, which is 40. Subtract and I get 44. I can do one more 10 times 4, which is 40. Subtract, I get 4. Now, this is in the in the 1 spot, so now I'm going to multiply it 1 times 4. Okay, and finally, I get a remainder of 0. So now I'm just going to add up all these partial quotients. 100 plus 100 is 200. 10, 20, 31. So the answer is 231. Okay, so when we add all those up, the answer is 231. All right, in the next lessons, you guys, we're... I'm going to start uh, writing the numbers on top as we divide up here, okay? So the answer is 231. Hey, if you're at home and you're on YouTube, can you click like this video? That would, that would please me, you guys, okay? Take care, everybody.